Hello, my name is Nir and I'm going to demonstrate how to use A tiles to create a similar world of concrete modules. So let's start by creating a simple object with this plugin and when I'm doing it, it will use one of the default 3D textures that it creates. In this case, it's a pavement and you can select the, the type of the texture here in one of these defaults. What I need to do is very simple. I'm going to add a new one and I'm going to pick this module that I modeled. And as you can see, it's not seamless and it's tile overlapping with overlapping modules. So what I need to do is run to the offset area under the parameters. I'm going to type absolute meaning in centimeters or units, 80 centimeters. And if I know that I am using only 50% in this uh, breaking point, so I'm going to use a non-absolute, but percentage, 50%. And then there I have it. So now I'm going to do one more simple thing, and it's launch the toolbox. And I'm going to use the from geometry to align this, to, uh, to fit this mm, texture, three texture, onto those faces. So let's select from geometry. And one thing which is very important is if you want the, the world to be horizontal, the modules to run horizontally, you must click or pick very close to one of the edges. So the alignment, the horizontal alignment, will align to the line at the edge, which is close. So picking here, it takes uh, two or three seconds, and the wall is constructed. Now I will select another wall, again, close to the horizontal edge. And the third wall. Now, in most cases, you have a wall which is like this, having this empty space because this texture does not uh, line fill the the texture. So, what we have to do is very simple. Select it and offset it by 50% downwards. And then, if you have a ground, point, a ground plane level here, you won't see those because uh, they are shifted downwards. And now I will apply a concrete material, which I made earlier. And I will apply also a UV dynamic map. and render. 